Today we're making pinwheel Christmas ornaments like these seen here. You'll need two pieces of contrasting fabric, each cut four and a half inches by four and a half inches. You'll also need a product like Heat and Bond, same size, four and a half inches by four and a half inches. And you'll also need a button for the middle. First step is to put one of our fabrics right side down and put our heat bond on top. We're going to iron that down. We're going to let that cool for just a moment. When it's cool, we're going to peel the paper off of it. We have the shiny side. Now we're going to have the right side up and we're going to iron right on top of that. We now have one piece of fabric with two different sides. Now we're going to take some pinking shears and cut around the outside of this square. I've cut around all four sides with the pinking shears. Now I'm going to draw a line from corner to corner, corner to corner, diagonal lines. Now I'm going to take my regular scissors and I'm going to cut towards the middle. I want to stop about an inch away from the center. I'll do that with all four lines, staying about, again, an inch away from the center. Now what we have is something that looks like this that's not cut all the way through. We're going to take it and we're going to fold one side at a time. I'm doing this to see which way I like best. You can either go with this look, or if you prefer the other way, just flip it over. and go for this look. I've decided to go with this look, so my next step is to get some thread and my button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread, it's already knotted, I've doubled mine, you can certainly just do yours as a single, and I'm going to go down on the inside and then come right back up. So I want to tack down these corners before I add the button. So I'm going to just grab one at a time. I'm going to go through just about a quarter of an inch away from the edge to tack that down. And then I'm going to spin it and do this next, the same with the next one. I'm going to grab it from underneath about a quarter of an inch away. Tack it down. Spin it again and do the same with the other two. All right, I've done that with all four sides. Now I'm going to take just a couple stitches to hold it secure, and then I'll put my button on. All right, now it's time for my button. I'm going to place that right in the center, and I'm going to just sew it on with just a few stitches. Okay, my button's all sewn on. I went ahead and tied it off cut my thread. Now all we need to do is put something to hang it with. On this one I used a ribbon to do that. You could use that. You could use a gold, some gold cording, cording if you had it. You can use some string or you could even just use one of those uh, metal Christmas hooks if you want. And there you have a quick and easy pinwheel Christmas ornament.